This is James Nestor, the author of the book Breathe, the new science of a lost art. Nestor plucked his nose for 10 days. During that time, people would stop him and ask him why he was plucking his nose. His friend Antonio, he mentioned how teachers back then would smack the back of their students' head if they saw the students were breathing through the mouths. He has suffered from mild collagen for most of his adult life and admits to being a mouth breather. When he finally unplugged his nose, Nestor was elated by the sense he could breathe in after 10 days of mouth breathing only. He described the smells as exploding in his head in a technicolor burst. But, so Nestor admitted he was a mouth breather, right? And he ate a modernized westernized diet like peanut butter sandwich, chips, and Nutella. Due to his soft, heavily processed diet, his face grew longer instead of wider, and his teeth became crowded. His snoring increased by 1300%, which is around 75 minutes a night. He described the experience as unfiltered, unmoistened, and unheated air entering through his mouth, leading to a dry tongue, irritated throat, and discomfort in his lungs. He also experienced a four-fold increase in sleep apnea events. Mouth breathing made Nestor and his friend despise their life, especially when it came to sleeping. He constantly felt fatigued and tired, which was detrimental for his overall health. After 10 days, his blood pressure reached stage 2 hypertension. His heart rate and body temperature decreased, indicating that mouth breathing placed his body under intense stress. On the 10th day of the experiment, Nestor sits in his bed, pondering whether the negative effects that he caused on himself would ever go away. Remember that technicolor feeling that Nestor felt after finally unplugging his nose? Vision and visual stimuli was so vivid and intense that he could, he could almost see the scent. His blood pressure dropped from 142 to 124, indicating an improvement from stage 2 hypertension to slightly high blood pressure, which is still manageable. However, Nestor has never fully resolved his breathing problem yet. After the experiment, he started taping his mouth shut before bed to ensure that he only breathes to the nose. After three days of following this popular TikTok trend, he reported that his snoring disappeared as did his apnea. He no longer experienced terrifying insomnia, hallucinations, or bad moods. He was able to sleep soundly throughout the night without waking up to urinate. Life became beautiful and enjoyable again simply because he breathed through his nose.